things about the woman that has to be in your life. She has to be secure. Absolutely. Now, I know that a lot of the women, and that's a great segue into the casting project as well, um, a lot of women who have dealt with sexual or domestic violence don't have a high level of security because there's so much confusion going on. And I have to admit, as a, a, a thriving businessman like yourself, entrepreneur, that can be intimidating to a lot of women, whether they're successful or not, mm -hmm. but definitely women who have had uh, sexual or domestic violence abuse in their past, and they've often felt a feeling of unworthiness. Mm -hmm. You know, um, as a survivor myself, I have to admit that a, a strong black man is, or a strong man, I should say, is, is intimidating. And sometimes we don't feel worthy of that, how do you feel about that? I mean, how how would a woman overcome that? Someone who's had issues in her past, do you think it's important for her to get help, start sharing? I mean, what? Tell me what you I think. I think the first thing you need to do is establishing a relationship is get them to admit that or to tell you that because if you don't know going in, mm -hmm. you don't know what's making them act the way that they do. Their emotions are going a certain kind of way. So I believe in laying a great foundation of communication getting to know that person because if you don't know where they come from, you don't know what make them who they are today. And that's very important. So I've, I've met some women, they've had some issues, either lack of a father figure or they had been in some type of uh, you know, inappropriate um, sexual situation. So you have to get to know that and then you can address that. But if you don't know, you might say some things. Or I had a young lady say that I touched her or reminded her a certain kind of way and it was just on her um, shoulders or whatnot. But luckily she told me, I said, you know what, I apologize, it wasn't that kind of way. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times you just don't know. Right, that's true. And a lot of times we don't talk about it. We won't say anything because we think it's going to scare you away. Right. And You don't look scared away. Huh. So how long have I known you? <laughs> <laughs> so, so we were talking about the relationships um, with women who have been affected by sexual or domestic violence. Now, I did not ask you, have you ever been affected by anything? I haven't. I haven't. Amazing. That's amazing. But by me being in the community, you know, a lot of things have come out. Me being around people, like we had the book club, mm -hmm. and we read a book, and it really brought out a lot of feelings from members in the book club. Mm -hmm. So what I did, I took from that, was to go back and teach my children on how to identify certain things and have that level of communication. And you all brought something to my attention. You know, if you have a close friend or relative, and your child tells you about that person, you really need to pay attention to mm -hmm. that, no matter how close they are to you. That was something I got out of that meeting myself, because I couldn't imagine my best friend touching one of my children. Oh. I just couldn't imagine it, and then you go without believing it, mm -hmm. and then your, the child takes that with them, and that's thinking their parents are not um, supporting them yes. or backing them. I mean, that's something we brought up. Yes. And it made me look at things totally differently, because I couldn't imagine it, but you have to pay attention. It ha and it happens. And the problem, you know, with, with people in our age range is that coming up, you know, again and again, and I know I say this every time we have an interview, but we couldn't tell. And if we did tell, chances are, you know, mama didn't believe us. Or whoever we were talking to, a grandma, it was more of a thing of, you know, where well, you're being fast, well, if you didn't dress like that, or you asked for it, and, you know, you just want some attention, you just want some attention. That was the big one. That was, and that's not the case. We need to listen to our children. We need to listen to our teenagers. We need to listen to anybody who's telling us because for a long time, we don't know how long they've been holding that inside. Right. So I do appreciate the fact that you said you're big on communication mm -hmm. because a lot of times um, men will take what you've been through and use it against you mm -hmm. in that relationship. But they have not been taught themselves what a good man is or how to deal with that. And I have to commend you for teaching your children that so that they can see the signs coming up and that they can communicate with you and that they don't have to continue the cycle, right. which is a horrible thing.